everybody, Kelsey Dara here with the trainers from Revenge Body. So we've got Corey, Gunnar, Simone, and Luke. And we are here to play Unpopular Opinion, the Exercise and Nutrition Edition. So we're here to see if you guys agree with these opinions or if we're going to trash them and drag them, sis. You guys ready? Yeah. I'm ready, always. A food diary is the most reliable way to manage what you eat. It keeps you accountable, so well, that's me, But important. let me flip this. It's become a lifestyle for all of us, correct? Really? So I bet you guys don't keep a food diary. No. Because you have it up you here. You have it in there, yeah. You have it, you know, you're accountable and you hold yourself to that standard. But for someone starting out, if they don't, you know, if they're not sure and they, they don't remember or they tend to forget what they ingested after 9 p.m., you know who you are. You have to write it down. Write it down, yeah. right? Unpopular opinion. Getting out of shape only takes two weeks. Atrophy doesn't occur until, what, two two weeks and, and above, so. so. You're saying I have more time to lay on the couch then? Go nuts. It two also weeks. depends on what you do during the two weeks, right? If you stuff yourself and drink every night and don't sleep and stress out, I mean, you're gonna have some issues. But as a rule, if you just pull back on your exercise program, you're not gonna go from fit to fat or condition to decondition in two weeks, no chance. Have you guys ever taken two weeks off? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Really? Of course we have. <laughs> Caffeine leads to an increase in belly fat. Look, I don't think it's true, uh, you know what I mean? But there's a lot of people with a lot of opinions out there. So. You'd have to look at dosage over yeah. a period of time with what kind of sleep, what kind of exercise. No, not flat. Yeah. Where you drink coffee? Yeah. I love Corey's coffee. living proof that it's not yeah. going <laughs> to lose the body. If you're drinking coffee, then I'm drinking coffee. I think you should drink coffee. So based on this, caffeine makes your arms swell up. <laughs> the best way to rehydrate after a workout is with a sports drink. You want to get electrolytes into your body, obviously, but... You don't want to drink it's... sugar. Well, no. you can actually replenish glycogen stores. You want to replenish, but you could do that with food. You could do that with something natural, but... What, what is what that word you said? Glycogen, the sugar stores in your muscle. Never mind. I'm, you know, just a regular person. You should avoid carbonated drinks. I actually believe in you should stay away from soda drinks. Drink beer, not soda. But, but... <laughs> what are your guys' go-to drinks when you're drinking? I drink CV. Oh, you're talking alcohol? <laughs> wow, there we go. I was talking about CV. He already started with beer, so I was going to mean Don Julio. Ooh. No soda, though. We don't put soda in. Straight up. Straight. There I mean, look go. at those arms. Did you expect anything less from right, that? So guy? my take home from this is tequila I and caffeine. Me. You have to look yeah. at your whole lifestyle, right? right? If you're right, having, right. if you're if you're skipping breakfast and then you're having processed food for lunch and then you're having monster desserts at dinner and you're having three or four sodas during the day, you probably shouldn't do that. Yeah. Yeah. If you're eating a clean right. diet and have a healthy lifestyle and you add a little soda, a little bubbly water, I, I think that's going to be cheap. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, cheat days. Cheat, right. cheat meal. Right. That was unintentional. First thing in the morning is the best time to work out. I don't like to wake Be up. Best time, to best time to work out is when you're least likely to skip it. Right. If Ooh. you're a morning person, do that. If you're a night person, do that. Don't try to fit it in where it's not going to fit in. When's your favorite time to work out? Morning. So then you like set yourself up for the day. You're energized. You're in a good frame of mind. Do whatever suits you. you know? Yeah. If you have to be at work at 6 or 7 a.m. and the thought of getting up at 3.30 or 4 to get your work at any get shower and get to work is daunting, that's a bad plan because you're not going to make it. Yeah. Then you're going to have trouble being consistent. And Corey, you would like to work out in the nighttime, right? Yeah, morning, noon, and night. Yeah. You're all day man. And that's very true. Hey. What is your average hour that you wake up? Five. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't know I did that out loud. Five, yeah. But I go to bed at 9, so it balances out. Okay. There's nothing heroic about getting up early if you go to bed early. I love that. You know what I mean? Thank the people you. are like, I get up early. Uh, so like what? Bracket. Like like Simone said, if you go to bed at 9 and you get up at when 5, When do you go to bed? Yeah, that's what. <laughs> Don't eat eggs because they're high in cholesterol. I hope this isn't true. I eat eggs every morning. So that depends on everything else that you're eating. Yeah, like exactly. yeah. I hear that a lot. People say you're going to get high cholesterol. But what else are you eating? Do you eat eggs? I do eat eggs. Tequila, eggs, caffeine. <laughs> Got <laughs> it. <laughs> Note to self. Right <laughs> the best way to get six-pack abs is sit-ups. There's a real common trend here, and it's a lifestyle. Your, your lifestyle is going to get you a six-pack or inhibit you from getting a six-pack. And that's in the kitchen, nutrition, exercise, stress levels, sleep amount. There's all sorts of things that go into it. A, a, a sit-up is not going to get you a... I'd like to book a workout with you just based on that. <laughs> it's a sane, logical answer. <laughs> Low fat is always more healthy than full fat. If you're talking about food, I'd say closer to its natural state. That's a good point because I feel like when I go into the grocery store these days, everything has the word gluten-free or low-calorie or... 
You don't want too many words on those explanations, but uh, Gunsy just summed it up in one statement. It's close to its natural state. Uh, you, you, you're on a winner. Is it like 50% working out, 50% nutrition, or? I say the closer you are to your ideal body, the more important nutrition is. I like your answers. But it's I true. hate to admit it. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. You'll sleep better after a nightcap. Now our tequila and I have to think about this. Every time I drink, I'm Hang on, hang on, like... traders, huddle up here. <laughs> Wait, can I be involved? I want to be a part of the group today. That's a yes. Yeah. Right? So we're going with the yes on that one? No, come on. Even just one drink? I think everyone's affected differently, but the theory is you don't get a deep sleep yeah. when you're, if you're inhibited by alcohol. And how important is sleep with working out? Well, it's a chance for your body to repair and heal. Mm. Most important, mind to be still. Mm. So we got to sleep, y'all. Yeah. You probably you shouldn't look at the Australians when you're talking about alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we've answered all of your unpopular opinions. I hope you guys learned something. I'm Kelsey Dara. This is the lovely cast of trainers from Revenge Body, and we will see you guys next time.